In Parshas Yisro, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, God comes down on Har Sinai to give the Torah to the Jewish people. And we're given all kinds of details about the surrounding area and about Har Sinai itself. And one of the details, one of the descriptions, the imagery that we are shown as to try to think in our mind what Har Sinai must have looked like is that the Har Sinai Ashan Kulo. Har Sinai was full of smoke. Why? Because Hashem came down in the Eish. That Hashem came down in fire. When there's fire, of course, there's smoke. So Rav Nechemke of Hordeno explains that it's not by chance that there was smoke present on our Sinai. If there's a reason for it, as we know there's a reason for everything. And he wants to explain as follows. He says, the reason why smoke is present when it comes to the giving of a Torah is because our relationship as Jews with the Torah very much relies on how much smoke is present when it comes to the fire. I remember as a little boy, uh, before my parents got a gas grill, we had a charcoal grill. And whenever we make a barbecue, we'd of course lay down the charcoal, put on lighter fluid, light up the fire, and grill whatever we were grilling. And then afterwards, we just had to wait until the fire stopped, and then the coals would cool off. Now, at one time, I didn't realize how just how hot the coals were, even because they appeared to be white, but I, I didn't realize that they were still hot. And I put my finger to touch the coals, and of course I burnt myself. And my mother said, Leal Shalom, she said, you have to wait until the next morning, until they're completely cool, because they might still be burning on the inside. So Nechemka explains and says, there are two reasons why people are not learning Torah. The first may be because people are busy. We become busy with all kinds of things. We are working very hard to make parnasa, to make sure that our families have food to eat, and we're able to take care of all of our expenses. And because of that, sometimes we don't have enough time to learn Torah, or we don't make it a priority. But there are those who still have that feeling and say, I, I want to learn whenever I can. I want to listen to a shir instead of listening to the radio. I want to quickly read a Devar Torah instead of talking to a friend when I'm in shul. I want to engage somehow in learning so that I feel that Torah is part of my life. And there's a second class of people who are not learning Torah, and those are the people who say, you know what, when I was younger, something happened, I just it never caught on, and so because of that, I, I just have never learned, I can't start now. So says Rav Nechemka, the reason why there was Ashan, there was smoke on our Sinai, was to teach Jewish people that even if the fire is not completely burning and it's simply coals that are white, remember that on the inside, beneath the coals, there's potential for fire. If we would take a piece of paper and would put it on those coals, it would become a fire. The fire would be ignited once again. But once those coals are completely cold the next morning, then... It's very difficult, if not impossible, to light them up again, the very same coals you have to find some other coals. That we can never allow the passion, and the, the, the spirit, the light that's within us, we can never allow it to go out completely. We have to keep on trying to fuel the flame and to ignite it as much as possible. All of us, each of us, were born with a connection to Torah, not just to Judaism as a culture, but to Torah itself, that we're given this week, the gift of Torah that enhances our lives in so many ways, and if we don't know how, then that's because we haven't learned enough. There is no one who will learn Torah who can tell you that Torah has not enhanced parts of their lives. And so we have to ask ourselves the question, where is our flame? At what state? At what point is it? And how much smoke is coming out of the fire? Never let the coals get cold, because as long as the coals stay hot, there's potential for us to grow as people, to feel better about ourselves, to feel better about our connection to Torah, to Yiddishkeit, and the relationship we have with the Rebbeinu Shalom. May we be zocha, may we merit to make sure that our grills remain hot forever and ever. Thank you for listening, and have a good Shabbos.